Hey everybody, welcome back to Into the Breach. Uh, if you didn't know, I'm pretty... <laughs> I mentioned the first time in the first episode a couple times, but I'm pretty obsessed. This is really cool. I'm digging it so much. Um, I think for our next objective, we could probably go to protect the coal plant. Um, the idea is that we want to get a certain number of these cleared out, and then eventually we'll have to defend um, our corporate HQ. So I think we need to do all but three, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and then we get the corporate HQ attack. So I'm thinking if we could, we should probably try to build up power, but getting the stars would be nice too. So I'm thinking if we have two to do, these will be the two that we do. Um, one, because I'd like to show you guys more of the variety of stuff that can happen. So we'll see air support and defensive shields in this one. So here's the bubbles, and these are the ones that have... Um, one point of protection, basically, so they're immune to one attack. Uh, they're also, they also block any negative effects like fire, freezing, acid. You'll notice we haven't heard of freezing or acid. That will come with later enemies. So, um, and biomes and, and even, uh, mech types. So, okay. Now, how are we going to deal with this? I imagine we should probably throw him, like, we should probably throw him in close to guard, Right? Then we probably want to have a lane far enough back. Well, this guy could go one, two, three, and grip here. But we want to protect him as well if he gets grabbed. Um, and if he gets grabbed from this side, we want to have protection. Plus, if this guy comes all the way up, then we can... Uh, actually, he would be here, so we'd knock him back to there. But he'd be attacking us upwards, so that'd be fine. And then the artillery... This is always a tough one, but I think back here for now is good. And you'll have some range to, to maneuver. So we have to protect this coal plant to get the extra power. But keep in mind, if we lose any of those towers, then we lose power. So we have to save all of those and this to see an increase. Alright. Prioritize protecting the city. Mechs can be repaired. Buildings can't. Nice. Okay, cool. So right off the bat, we got... A really nice airstrike. So this airstrike here, these five squares, these are all going to get hit, and anything on them, completely destroyed. So that's massive for us. Um, now, this guy did get go exactly where we thought he might. And we could push him back, no problem, that's fine. We'll keep these guys where they are. So if we look at the attack order, uh, fire damage happens first, there's no fire on the map. Uh, environment damage happens second, so those guys, two and four there, they'll be dead. And then the enemy actions go, so it's three, but he'll attack a blank square, and then the enemies emerge. So what I could do... Too bad this guy's blocking our path, because it'd be really nice to go and block down here. It'd be really nice to do that. But... That is not gonna happen. Unless... No, I don't think we need to get too crazy here. I think we move straight down. Yeah, let's move straight down here. Get closer to these guys when they pop out. Uh, the cannon mech, let's hit this and push back. Then that tile will get hit. Oh, what I could do... Actually, what I could do... Is use the artillery mech to push our guy onto this spot. He's gonna take some damage, but only one will pop up, and we're killing two, so that's actually really good for us. I think that's fine. And yeah, cool. No, let's. This is good. What upgrade do we have again? The extra move. Yeah, that's right. So we can move four squares. Let's go. Now it'll pop up this every time if you have unused actions. We don't have anything that we can do there, so we'll just let it ride. Here comes the air support. It's pretty cool. Oh, this is good. Don't web me. He's webbed me. That's a bit of a problem. It's a bit of a situation. Um, I can attack him and push him back. That's fine. But then I'm going to take the two damage. So... Or that, yeah, then I'm going to take the, the damage from being on this, on this, um... Emerging Vec. 
What I could consider is... I could consider moving here with Ori. And then I could artillery this guy over. He doesn't take any damage, but he'll take one from the fire. Then we'll be, uh... Then we'll be free. We can move up. We could punch him for two, which would kill him. And it will do one damage to this guy. That's not bad. That's not bad. I don't want to take this shot, because I don't want to bump into here. So I think that actually does make sense. Let's push him into the fire, so he takes the one there. Move up. Bump. Oh, yeah, and actually... Because he takes the extra damage from the bump as well, so that just straight up kills him. Great. Pushing units into things deals one damage to both. In this case, the extra damage killed the unit. Beautiful. Alright, now... I think we want to come in closer here, I guess? Because we want to be able to defend these. If they go around this side, one, two, three... Well, I mean, I guess it depends where the airstrike is, and it's going to move every time. I'm going to come here for now. And I guess we just leave it at that. Okay. Let's go. It's cool how it can take out, like, mountain ranges and stuff like that, too. They'll never hit the actual buildings. Oh, if we get webbed here... Oh, we can't get webbed. They don't have it. Okay. What buildings are being threatened? This one is the only one of concern. We can freely move here. Now, depending on the order that they choose... So this guy actually goes last. Um, but what I could do... This guy's targeting in, this guy's targeting here. If we moved our combat mech down and pushed him over, then he would actually shoot this guy on his turn. Right? We'd be out of this crossfire. This guy will die. And... Man, I don't... Oh, I don't have a good way of dealing with this guy, though. That's a problem. I literally cannot get to him, I don't think. Can I push him out? Only if we attack the building, but then he pretty much is doing that anyways, right? So in that scenario, I might as well just attack this guy. And we would be pushing him down. He dies. They lose some health. I come down. I punch this guy. He takes the two plus the one from hitting him. So he actually dies. That's actually not bad. And plus this one's still protected. I think that's the play. Because if I bring him here, for example, and I shoot this, yes, this pushes me out, fine. It moves him, but whatever. It pushes this guy, but not important. Yeah, so I think what we do, we go down here, artillery this guy, Now, hmm, actually, one thing I didn't consider is that this guy's now going to be hitting here. And so what I might do, actually, ooh, hold on. I can go here, I can kill this guy, because he'll take two plus the one into, the, into there, and we're blocking the spawn. Okay, I like where this is going. And now you can come out. And you can get a little damage in. This is going to go clear through to the other side. You can't push off the map, so... That's the closest she gets. And that's really nice, because there's only one other enemy spawning. And now we just have to survive one more turn, and we're laughing. We just need to survive here. So very easily, what we could do... It, well, I can just punch this guy. 
That's fine. The emerging isn't going to happen because it's just the end of their turn. There's no enemies left. On the last turn, anything that was going to emerge, gone. Um, and this guy can tank one shot. So I think we're good. And if I wanted to, we could even just push this guy into the fire. Let's do this. Why not? And then we can we can just kill them. Because we can. Awesome. This is gonna be one of those games where and I even I did this in the first episode on the dam, where uh they're simpler solutions a lot of the times, but I'll I'll definitely overthink certain things. Like there's no question. I think it's part and parcel for a game like this. Beautiful. Uh, on that dam one, I could have easily just walked over and punched the dam at one point and killed uh, three Vec in the row, but I didn't do that. So the one thing we're going to want to consider is that uh, this pilot, he's getting a ton of experience right now. And while that's all well and good, uh, we might want to diversify that just a little bit. He does accelerate at a more rapid pace than the others because of that perk that he has. But... I think it might be worth swapping out some of our pilots. So, he gets the extra movement. It could be valuable on, man, either one of these mechs. But this mech specifically, the artillery mech, we get such, like we get to displace, and it's so nice to be able to do that. Um, maybe that's what I should do. If we put Ori, plus Ori's close to promotion. So bring these guys out, and we put Ralph in this one. And we would put Ori in this one. So now, our, our um, combat mech is back to three move, but our artillery mech is up to four. Okay, we're not going to get as much experience from him, but I think that might be okay. I think that might be okay. Alright, so I think we need to do one more. So, defending the artillery support, protect the coal plant for power. Um, just go for stars. I actually think just going for extra stars right now might be nice. And we just have one objective, which is defend the train. You know what? Let's, let's go for defending the train. So, these are fun because the train's going to advance, and if things block it, then it blows up. It's really, it's intense. It's intense. Old Horus here is the only diesel train left on the planet. That isn't at the bottom of the ocean, anyway. He's going strong, carrying vital supplies across the island. Okay, thanks, Doctor. Alright. Um, not a Weber. Uh, do the Hornets... The Hornets don't web. But this guy does, right? Scorpions? Yeah, Scorpions web. Alright, cool. So, uh, let's get in there. He can go one, two, three, and attack. Let's stay just one away from him, I think. Something like that. Uh, artillery wise, or sorry, um, cannon, this is a tough one, but I think we'll stay over here so that we can slide down. The only thing is if they decide to go for this building, I can't really attack him from there and push him out of the way. I'm gonna go here for now, and then the artillery mech will keep here because we can pretty much use this whole, like, this whole area, which is nice. You can go one, two, three, or one, two, three, all the way. Uh, plus up if we needed to, because he moves four now. Alright. Picked up an unidentified object on sensors. Ah, cool. Okay, so these are pods that drop, and they can give us bonuses. Uh, they can get attacked, so we have to protect them. Uh, or we can just walk over and collect it, which might end up happening because we're pretty close, but we'll see. So he's blocking the train. Obviously, that's bad news. All right. How do we want to handle this? So he's only got two health. The train now, um, the train is, has fire immunity. It has smoke immunity, something that we haven't run into yet. It's gonna move forward two spaces, but we'd be destroyed if it's blocked, it's only got one HP, but it's stable. So it can't be pushed by any effect, any weapon effect, push, teleport, etc. So as an example, if I did something like this, 
and I shot this guy, um, he would not move, nor would he... Well, he obviously isn't going to take damage. So, yeah. This might be something to consider. Then I would need to... Yeah, but see... Actually, this could work. If I took this shot here, we're going to pull this scorpion down. He's going to take one damage from the bump. Uh, no, sorry, he's not going to take any damage. Oh, we could do this shot too, though. No, because we need to get him off there. So, we could take this, move the scorpion down here. He's going to shoot the mountain, and he's going to take damage. And he'll block and he'll block a spawn, which is super important. Then, I could move this guy in, and we could shoot this hornet for the second shot, and he'd be dead. Then, I could move the mech down, punch this guy, and tank a shot, and he'd be one shot away from death. And then we'll only have one spawning next time. So I actually think that's a pretty good plan. I think that's a pretty good plan. Let's do this. Um, so I said we're gonna go here. Okay. Come down. Shoot this guy out. It needs to have two slots in front of it freed up. And if I had enough space to get over here and knock him over, this area is clear, which would be nice, but it's not going to happen just yet. So we'll tank some damage here, but it's all right. This is huge, and we can block a spawn with a vec. It's massive. That feels really good. Choo-choo. Ah! Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. How do we deal with this? If we can kill this guy, then he has two health, he has one health. Um, the problem is, is that... Man, how do we displace this guy without destroying some power? How do we do that? Cuz I can't shoot the train for I can't shoot the train for damage. I could do something like this. But either way, man, I think he I think he might get that power. We're doing okay on our power grid, so it's not the end of the Actually, no, he's not even going for the power, he's going for the train. So he has to die. Otherwise, the train isn't even... It's not defended. I might have to knock it out myself. Okay, what if I do something like... What if I do something like this? If I bring... If I bring our mech in... We kill this guy. I could kill him, too. But I bring him in, I kill the... Scion, right? Then with our cannon mech, I could come down here... ...and take this shot to the left. He'd have two health. It would do one damage to here, and it would kill one of these. So he'd lose a power, right? Um... Unless... Yeah, but see, okay, but then I can't stop this guy either. Right? So I think we pretty much have to sacrifice one of our power grid here. That's the way that I see it. I think it's going to be... Because we can kill that one. We can bring uh, the artillery mech down and kill this, because he'll have one health after we kill this guy. This guy, uh, our cannon mech, is going to come in here. He's going to be down to uh, two health, but we're going to hit him from the side, and the bounce damage will take out one power, but it'll also kill him. So I guess that's what we're going to do. It's unfortunate, but we're going to lose one power. 
It's, it is for the greater good. See, Ralph? Good thinking, man. All right. We didn't get to block any spawns, but the train is almost through. We have two more turns left. Two more turns left. That's one of the things I love about this game is there's trade-offs. There's trade-offs you got to make because you can't stop everything all the time. Unless, you know, you get very lucky with spawns. Okay, webbed. Hmm. All right. So if I come down here, push him up, that's fine. Then he could shoot, push him up, that's fine. Then we could tank a shot, and after this turn, we're good, right? Because they're all going to shoot, then the train's going to move. It's not like this is going to hit the train. And then we're good. Right? So he moves up. We shoot him up. And then we... Stand here. And tank this, I guess. And we just take the shot. I mean, that'll work. Or, or, I could, it doesn't even matter, because it's the end anyways. But I can move down here, so that's whatever. Take this, he takes two damage, and kill him. Then we get the XP, right? So it's nice to get the kills, because then we get the extra bonuses. It's funny, because I should have, I should have, uh, taken that shot with Ralph first, and then followed up with, uh, Nicola in the cannon mech to get the kill. So that's another thing to consider, is spreading the kills around for the XP. But, um... Yeah. That works. And, we'll get- we'll secure this too, because it's still on the battlefield and didn't get attacked. Beautiful! Alright, cool. Refugees will be grateful for the supplies, and I owe you my personal thanks for saving old Horus. We two relics have been through a lot together. Cool. Very cool. And now we're only like 5 XP away in that mech, or on, with that pilot, so. Here's the pod. Ah, uh, here we go. So we just got a brand new pilot, gains plus 3 move on the first turn of every mission. That's legit. Plus we got a reactor core, so finding these pods, this is massive. And she's 2 XP away from leveling up. That's really nice. Very nice. So now, now, as you can see, drawn up by your offensive attack, or your offensive against the Vec, the Hive Leader is assaulting the Corporate HQ. So we have to destroy the Hornet Leader uh, for one star and protect the Corporate Tower for another star. Or just, like, survive, right? Um, again, keep in mind how much power we have. Now, uh, we can install a core if we want, which gives us extra power to utilize, so we can do weapon modifications and stuff. Um, click on a mod to power it. You can always click again to remove it. So this is very FTL-ish, right? We cannot actually do this because we only have the one, um, the one thing there. But what we could consider doing is beefing up one of our, one of our mechs, giving extra move, or going back to the artillery mech. Buildings immune is pretty helpful because if anything's right close to a building, you could shoot the building itself and push the enemies away from it. Now, it doesn't do great if it's, like, something with a ranged attack, but it definitely is something to consider. And I almost wonder, do we want to go with, um... Three extra move on the first turn of every mission here? I think we might. Plus, she would level as well. Almost guaranteed this turn. I don't have enough to do the, um... Oh, wait. Titan Fist upgrade. Yeah, see, I can't do this without having this powered, so even if I put this in, we can't- we couldn't do that dash. But, we could tank her up. I almost wonder if that's better, or if buildings immune is better. It's really tough to say. They're both great. I think I'm gonna say buildings- buildings immune. It opens us up some options that we didn't have previously. Whereas, um, 
the extra health here. We can always repair, like, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. So Lily Reed is in. Lily Reed is in. Let's go. Some kind of vac abominations approaching our headquarters, whatever it is, it must be stopped. So there's the, like, boss vac, the hornet leader. And here's the tower we need to protect. All right. So let's take a look at the hornet leader. So it is uh, massive, so it can walk in water, but water prevents shooting. Uh, it can fly over any terrain tile. It is being provided plus one by that um, by that scion, and it's the hive leader. So they're immune to water. They can be more challenging to kill, which means you can't knock them into water. If they go into water, though, it still prevents shooting. His thing is that he stabs three tiles in a row. I've seen some pretty crazy uh, Vec bosses too, so this is not too shabby. Not too shabby. So I'm thinking we got to be over here to try and defend this. Um, what's your movement? Three. So one, two, three. We'd still be fine. And then he could attack upwards. Um, and then this guy, one. Oh, he's got five movement? That's crazy. So he can pretty much go anywhere he wants. Let's drop these guys nearby this area. Um, you know what? I'm going to put him back here. I guess it doesn't really matter because if this guy comes up... One, two, three. Ah, uh, yeah. If he comes up here and then one, two, three, we'd be safe there. And then the artillery mech, we can kind of move like all over this back line. Yeah, I think that's okay. When I first started, I, I really didn't put a lot of thought into... Oh, okay, well... Yeah, that's a good option. That's a good option. Yep, didn't consider them going that way. When confronted by new enemies, be sure to learn their abilities. Okay, so we did that already. Um, so he's going to attack first. He's getting the, getting the extra health here. Now, one thing we can do is we can knock him into the water just, just to disable his weapons. But he's flying, so I actually don't know if that would work. It says water will prevent shooting, and he can walk in water, but he's also flying. So, bit weird, right? I'm actually not sure. We could kill this guy off straight away. These guys are both shooting at the same power station, but each one of these is worth one. So that'd be two power that we lose if we don't do anything about it. Um, I could consider, actually... Where, when does he shoot? He shoots first. And he does two damage. Oh, this could, this could... We could do something pretty cool here, guys. I think we might have a good plan for the first one anyway. Okay. Let's bring Cannon Mech over here. He shoots down, knocks this guy one this way, and we get a block. And on the next turn, he does two damage to his buddy, right? Then we would bring uh, Artillery Mech over here, and we could do the Artillery Cannon for the one damage, which is all we would need. Uh, yep, that's all we would need, because he's going to shoot first, then that guy will be dead. And then we can take... Um, Ralph, or sorry, Lily now. We can take Lily. Look how far she can move. We're almost like, we're not even taking advantage of it, but it's okay. We take Lily down, get her closer to these things, and we punch this, kill this, because it's um, two damage. And that's pretty good start. Right? I think it's good to get in the habit of moving them first, because then you can, see how you can undo all of their regular moves, if you don't like that plan? I think that's uh, a good way of doing it. All right. Move down. Just need one damage here. Oh, and you know what? Actually, it's even... Uh, it's even less. Because we would only need one, because we're going to kill this guy. And we're blocking a pop-up here. And we got the level up. Boom. Don't think I could have learned this all in sim tree. This is so good. So what is this? Plus one mech reactor. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. I wonder, can we do that like in the actual mission or can we only do that later? I'm guessing we can only do that later, but maybe I'm wrong. 
We'll see. That's so big right there. Like, that's absolutely huge. Okay, I don't, I don't love what's happening there. Don't love that. Uh, okay. Okay. I can push this guy back for two damage, then he blocks another one, and takes damage coming up, so he dies. Then, with the artillery... Okay, let's actually see. Can I get in here? I don't think I can change anything. I don't think I can change it in the mission. It's too bad, but okay. So then I use the, uh... The artillery mech. Just stand where we are. And we take a shot on the tower. Oh, wait. Actually. Yeah, no, that would work. Because then he's attacking down this way. And we could move... We could move our cannon mech. Um... Where could we move him? Because if I'm... If I move him over... Hmm... Because if I move him over, then our cannon guy's in the way. Yes, I can just dodge, but it'd be nice to do an actual, like, uh, an attack or something. Actually, I could. I could attack, because this will be out of range. He only does three tiles. Right? So I go there. We punch here. This guy will die on the next turn and block. This guy will be over here. Whiff. Um, and we can shoot him, too. Yeah. Let's go for it. Ooh! Ooh! Even better! <laughs> we can do, uh, this first. Oh, you know what? I don't know if that was good. I should have done it the other way around. Frick! You know what? Let's use our reset for that. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's what it's for. Okay, so we go back up here. We shoot this over. Okay, we knock this back. Oh, but then we're not gonna get the block! I actually think we were fine the other way. We were totally fine, I overthought it. We put this guy back, we do this, he, he dies. And he gets a block. I don't know why... I don't know why I overthought that. Damn it. I wasted the reset. But it's okay. We're doing really well so far. Okay, these guys are tough because they're super ranged, right? But... Okay, he's targeting that, which is great. And he's targeting... They're targeting our units. That's good for us, generally. Uh, plus, we're in a great position to deal with this. So we take the launch over here, right? Uh, that kills the... That kills the Hornet leader. Then we move this guy over. He blocks. We just move out of the way. Uh... And he's actually gonna tank the shot, too. He's gonna get hit from this guy. So, let me think about how this would work. So we slide over. We could take a shot like this. Ah, uh, but then it won't block. Then it won't block. You guys see what I'm saying? Because of the order, uh, if we moved this guy over with the cannon, this guy right here is gonna shoot number three, and that will kill him. Because he'll come over right now, uh, we could manipulate it so that we don't, actually. But then I can't damage this guy. That I, and I'd like to. Actually, yes I could. If, okay, so if I take this attack now, and we push this guy back, he's down to two health. Alright. Then, I... push this guy over. He will have... Three health. He'll be sitting on here. 
Then he'll take one damage from two. And then he'll shoot over here, but I'll move. But if I don't want to do that, actually, we could block all three of these. Oh, I've, I see what we're going to do. All right. So f hold on. First, let's, uh, I think we want to shoot down here. Okay. We're going to launch this. He's blocked. Now, if I come down here and I block this, oh, he'll kill this. He'll kill that. Um, that this is okay though. He'll take two damage because this will hurt him and the shot will hurt him. And he does the block. So that's actually decent. And I'm blocking. So instead of killing this guy, I'm gonna let him live one more turn. So that he can deal the extra damage here. And then he's down to two. He'll be down to one, actually. So that's actually pretty good for us. Yeah, that works. Man, it's crazy. There's so many, like, ugh, I love it. Okay. Now this is the last turn. Can we do it? This guy's going first. So I think we... Mm, yeah, you know what? I think we got this. So if I move over... If I move um, our artillery mech here... And we do the launch this way. Okay? That moves uh, this guy over. He's going to block the shot from this guy next. And then... I'm going to sh make a shot on him, which kills him. And we're laughing. Yeah, that works. There we go. There we go. Now... I could actually just get more XP. Which I should probably do. Either one of these dies. There we go. That'll work. Guys, oh, that went so well. That's awesome. Okay, so no new hives should appear on the island. You saved us. We got a lot of stars. That's great. Saved all the civilians there. That's great. A lot of XP. That's great. Power grid's looking okay. Cool. cool. Select one free reward. Your accomplishment... Uh, you accomplished every archive mission, an astounding accomplishment. Please, you and the Riftwalker, Riftwalkers, accept this as a thanks. Oh, that's cool. Man, I've never had that happen. Perfect. Oh, we perfected that island. Okay, this is great. I've never had that happen. That feels really good. So we can go plus two. And the way that I read this... Is that... We get an overpower bonus, so that we have a 25% chance that any building would resist damage, right? Or... What is this? Requires one power. Move again after shooting? Oh, that's really cool. Or what's this? Freeze yourself and the target. It's a cryo launcher. Man, I gotta see what this is. Move again after shooting? What is? Oh, this is a this is a pilot. Requires one power though. But we're we're at the end, so we can buy some cores. They're expensive, I think. Hmm. Tough, 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 tough. I think I'm gonna take the pilot. That's so cool. So now we want to spend reputation. It's called right. You have to do this before you leave the island, otherwise it gets, um, removed. So here's stuff that we could sell back for stars if we wanted to. If we're like, eh, we're never gonna use this pilot again, we should probably sell him. Like, Nicola, I should probably just sell him at this point. I don't know what his upgrade is. Um, this person's really close and they already have a special. He's kind of just plain, you know? 
And what we could do is we could go into some of these things. So brute class weapon is uh, would replace our Taurus cannon. Fire projectile that hits two tiles, pushing them in opposite directions. Oh, that's tricky. That's really tricky. A grappling hook to pull a mech towards objects or units to the mech. Pull the mech towards ob- oh! So we can use it to get closer to things, or we can use it to pull something towards us. It's free, but then there's an upgrade as well. That seems good. Any class weapon. Drop smoke on five tiles anywhere on the map. Man, I, I'm not 100% sure what smoke does, but it's one star. It's pretty good. And then Vice Fist. Grab a unit and toss it behind you. Oh, that seems really cool. And then Reactor Core I should probably buy. So I have seven. I could do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could get all of these. This is a prime weapon though, right? So that would just replace the punch. And it only does one damage. The thing about the punch is that we get that two damage in there. And this thing, the Brute Class... Um, let's see. Yeah, okay, so we can equip it as our secondary weapon. That's what we would do. So we still have we still have the options. Same thing here. We have the secondary weapon. Yeah, let's do it. I like this. Got a reactor core. Now I could sell I could sell this Nicola guy. Cuz I'm I, honestly I don't think we're going to use him. I think I'm going to sell him. Gone. And then we can up our power. Okay. Okay, okay, this is good. So let's go ahead and put in... The... Fist. Now you can put things from other classes. Like, you could put the Brute Class weapon on the Prime if you wanted to. But you have to power it with one additional power. So that's not great. Um... Oh, look at that! So we can move our allies out of trouble. If we put power in here, they wouldn't take any damage. Interesting. If used on an ally unit, it gives them a shield? Oh, that seems really good. If we undo this... Oh wait, if we give here, and we shield our ally, as long as we have vision of them and it's unblocked, that's really nice. That's really nice. And then here, any class weapon drops smoke on five tiles anywhere on the map. Don't know exactly what smoke does, but it looks like it just like... I don't know if it keeps them there or if they... I'm not sure exactly how that works. We can test stuff. So as an example... How does that work? Units and smoke cannot attack or repair. Okay. Now they could surely move out of that. Right? But what you would maybe do is you put it down as like smoke cover for yourself. You drop smoke on your dude. And, uh, and the guys that come next to you, they can't do anything. Right? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We could- and then we would move out of it to take our shot. But that's like a save, I think. That's really cool that you can just test like that. Man, this is so good. Alright. This needs a pilot, and I think it's gonna be you. Move again after shooting. That's pretty good. Oh, it requires- oh, I see. <laughs> <gasps> that is crazy. That's so crazy. I could take off buildings immune, install it here, so even the pilots... Oh wait, what happened? Oh, can I not take it out of here? Oh, 
Uh oh. So that's interesting. Okay, once you install it. Once you commit it, you can't you can't remove it, it seems. You have the undo button, but I think that's only once you put it in there for the first time. Alright, cool. Good to know. Good to know. Fire and forget in this situation. Not that big of a deal then, because I don't have the core for it. Uh so you know what? In that case. Let's go back here. Eventually we'll switch, because that's really powerful. It's very powerful. All right, everything is spent. Leave the island. By completing one island, you've unlocked RST Corporation. In future games, you'll be able to visit any uh, the unlocked islands in any order, which is cool because depending on the mechs that you choose, uh, that's going to determine which uh, islands you want to visit. So I'm pretty sure what we want to be doing... Oh, let's put this back in. I'm pretty sure what we want to be doing now is uh, we'll go into this area. There's different Vec there. But the way I understand it is we want to actually complete um, all of the islands with this mech. And then when we go back to the main menu uh, and you start a new game on this profile, then I think you unlock the additional... Um, the additional uh, guys. Or maybe not. Hold on. Let's see. Yeah, because if I go continue, it's just taking us back in here. So we got to go through with all of these guys first, and then we can unlock the new mechs. But we did get two gold pieces already, two of the achievements, so I feel pretty good about that. Anyways, uh, we'll wrap it up here. First island down, guys. We've got three islands to go with this group. But man, like, I just, there's so much replayability here. It's insane. It's insane. I really hope you guys like it. I know I'm talking like a mile a minute, but there's just, I'm so hyped about it. I can't even get over it. Uh, it's really fun. I, I highly encourage you guys to try this out. It's really, really fun. And if you have advice from just things you've watched or, um, you know, if you're watching this after you've played it, then uh, let me know because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of little things I could pick up on. So thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye.